क्वेश्चन 211 द टर्म डैश रिप्रेजेंट्स अ फिजिकली सेपरेट लोकेशन विद इन अ रीजन इट कुड बी अ डेटा सेंटर और अ ग्रुप ऑफ क्लोजली कनेक्टेड डेटा सेंटर्स ऑप्शन ए अवेलेबिलिटी सेट ऑप्शन बी जियो ऑप्शन सी रीजन पेयर ऑप्शन डी अवेलेबिलिटी जोन एंड द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन डी अवेलेबिलिटी जोन एक्सप्लेनेशन Azure availability zones are physically separate locations within each Azure region that are tolerant to local failures. Failures can range from software and hardware failures to events such as earthquakes, floods and fires. Tolerance to failures is achieved because of redundancy and logical isolation of Azure services. To ensure resiliency, a minimum of 3 separate availability zones are present in all availability zone enabled regions. Next question Which feature of Azure Active Directory will require users to have their mobile phone in order to be able to log in? Option A: Azure Information Protection (AIP). Option B: Azure Security Center. Option C: Multi-factor authentication. Option D: Advanced Threat Protection (ATP). And the correct answer is option C: Multi-factor authentication. Explanation: Multi-factor authentication (MFA) the concept of having something additional to a password that is required to log in passwords are findable or guessable but having your mobile phone on you to receive a phone call text or run an app to get a code is harder for an unknown hacker to get next question your organization has implemented an azure policy that restricts the type of virtual machine instances you can use how can you create a vm that is blocked by the policy Option A use an account that has contributor or above permissions to the resource group Option B subscription owners administrators can create resources regardless of what the policy restricts Option C the only way is to remove the policy create the resource and add the policy back and the correct answer is option C the only way is to remove the policy create the resource and add the policy back explanation You cannot perform a task that violates policy so you have to remove the policy in order to perform the task Next question you are planning to set up a solution on the Azure platform the solution has the following main key requirement provide the ability to store petabytes of data be able to run complex queries across the data which of the following would be best suited for this requirement option A Azure firewall option B Azure application gateway option C Azure storage accounts option D Azure synapse and the correct answer is option D Azure synapse explanation this can now be achieved with the help of the Azure synapse service Azure synapse is a limitless analytics service that brings together enterprise data warehousing and big data analytics it gives you the freedom to query data on your terms using either service less on demand or provisioned resources at a scale next question a company has a set of azure virtual machines these azure virtual machines will be hosting web servers the web servers need to send logs to a central log store which of the following can be used for this requirement option a azure advisor option b azure monitor option c azure service health option d azure devops and the correct answer is option b azure monitor explanation you can use the log analytics workspace feature in azure monitor to store the logs option a is incorrect azure advisor is a recommendation engine in azure option c is incorrect azure service health is used to display the health of the underlying azure services option d is incorrect azure devops is used as a tool set for implementing devops next question select yes or no for the below statement Would the Azure Hybrid benefit for Windows Server allow a customer to use his existing on-premises Windows Server licenses? Option A: Yes. Option B: No. And the correct answer is option A: Yes. Explanation: Yes. This is one of the benefits of the Azure Hybrid Cloud. You can make use of the existing on-premises Windows Server licenses. Azure Hybrid benefit is a licensing benefit. that enables you to significantly reduce the cost of running your workloads in the cloud microsoft azure lets you use 
your on-premises Windows Server and SQL Server licenses with software assurance enabled. Next question. A company has deployed several identical virtual machines to Azure. The virtual machines would host a web application and it would be accessed via the internet. Is it better to deploy the virtual machines as part of an Azure virtual machine skill set to increase the availability of the application? Option A, yes. Option B, no. And the correct answer is Option A, yes. Explanation, yes, you can achieve higher availability for your applications by adding virtual machines to a virtual machine skill set. Next question, select yes or no for the following statement. A company must implement all Azure security recommendations within 30 days to maintain Microsoft support. Option A, yes. Option B, no. And the correct answer is option B, no. Explanation. Microsoft provides the required controls for the customer to implement secure practices for their Azure account. There is no constraint that mentions that you need to implement all security recommendations to maintain Microsoft support. Next question. Select yes or no for the following statement. Transferring data between Azure storage accounts in different Azure regions is free. Option A, yes. Option B, no. And the correct answer is option B, no. Explanation. All services that do cross regional data transfers are subjected to a cost. Next question. A company wants to start using Azure services. They have several departments that would benefit from Azure services. The company wants to give each department the option to pay differently for the Azure services they use. Which option should each department use to fulfill this requirement? Option A, a resource group. Option B, a subscription. Option C, an Azure policy. Option D, a reservation. And the correct answer is option B, a subscription. Explanation. An Azure subscription is a logical container used to provision resources in Azure. It holds the details of all your resources like virtual machines, VMS, databases, and more. When you create an Azure resource like a VM, you identify the subscription it belongs to. The billing for Azure resources is tagged to a subscription. Hence, to segregate the billing for each department, each of them can have a different subscription. Next question. You are planning to set up a solution on the Azure platform. The solution has the following main key requirements. Provide a service that could be used to quickly provision development and test environments. Minimize waste of resources with the help of quotas and policies. Which of the following would be best suited for this requirement? Option A. Azure Event Grid. Option B. Azure DevOps. Option C. Azure Kubernetes. Option D. Azure Dev Test Labs. And the correct answer is Option D. Azure Dev Test Labs. Explanation. Azure Dev Test Lab is a service that enables developers to efficiently self-manage virtual machines, VMS, and platform as a service PaaS resources without waiting for approvals. Dave Test Labs creates labs consisting of pre-configured bases or Azure Resource Manager templates. Next question. Select yes or no for the following statement. Would the Azure Firewall service encrypt all network traffic sent from Azure to the internet? Option A, yes. Option B, no. And the correct answer is option B, no. Explanation. The Azure Firewall service is primarily used to protect your network infrastructure. Next question. You have set up an Azure subscription and plans to start deploying a few resources on the Azure platform. You need an Azure service that can create and update the resources in a declarative manner as a group. Which of the following could be used for this requirement? Option A, Availability Zones. Option B, Azure Resource Groups. Option C, Azure Resource Manager. Option D, Azure Reasons. And the correct answer is Option C, Azure Resource Manager. Explanation. This can be done with the help of Azure Resource Manager. Azure Resource Manager is the deployment and management service for Azure. It provides a management layer that enables you to create, update, and delete resources in your Azure account. You use management features like access control, logs, and tags to secure and organize your resources after deployment. Next question. Select yes or no for the following statement. 
would the company administrative team have full control over the underlying server hosting the Azure SQL database? Option A. Yes. Option B. No. And the correct answer is option B. No. Explanation. The Azure SQL database service is a platform as a service. Here, the underlying infrastructure is completely managed by Azure. Next question. You are planning to set up resources as part of its Azure subscription. You are looking at different security options that can be used to secure their Azure environment. Which of the Azure service could be used for the following requirement? Provide protection against distributed denial of service attacks. Option A. Azure Key Vault. Option B. Azure Network Security Groups. Option C. Azure Multi-Factor Authentication. Option D. Azure DDoS Protection. And the correct answer is option D. Azure DDoS Protection. Explanation. You can protect your environment from such attacks by using Azure DDoS Protection. Azure DDoS Protection standard combined with application design best practices provides enhanced DDoS mitigation features to defend against DDoS attacks. Option A is incorrect. Azure Key Vault is used to store secrets, certificates and keys. Option B is incorrect. Azure Network Security Groups is used to restrict traffic into and out of Azure Virtual Machines. Option C is incorrect. Azure Multi-Factor Authentication is used to provide an extra level of security during user authentication. Thank you for watching this video. Buy our AZ 900 Premium Questions with 50% off. Check link in the description.